The Boss Beatdown, the show where you learn about bosses to stop your losses, and it is in fact, pretty awesome sauces. Dark Souls, Taurus Demon. Ready? Go! From the creators of Fupa Pancake Belly comes the next demon of doom who's really not as bad as he's cut out to be. But before we get to that, let's get through the zone. After resting up at Firelink Shrine, go up these stairs. Beat up the goons on your way up, go inside these sewers. More skinny boy hollows, do a barrel roll, find some hobo holding on for dear life with their rusty tetanus blade, discover yourself on the ground. <laughs> More murder, almost get stepped on by dragon tails. Keep it straight lit, homie. Go this way, talk to the weird hobo merchant, petting nothing. Run past these doofuses throwing spicy meatballs at you. Up this ladder to kill the Meatball Brothers, up this tower to beat this crossbow bleed to a pulp. Go down here and accidentally get killed because you weren't entirely paying attention when recording and you got ganged up on. Oh my god. Trigger a Donkey Kong style trap and either run away from it or fall off this edge here and land out of its path. Come down here and find a Black Knight reflecting on its career choices that led up to its job of staring at a wall. Be careful because it will rip you a new cavity if you don't know what you're doing. By the way, in Dark Souls there is a wonderful thing you may have heard about. It's called cheese. More on that later. Back up this way. You can do one of two things. Go up to fight the boss like a normal person, or if you have the master key as your gift, you can go this way and try skipping the boss. You will then be met by this mighty slab of a man known as Havel the Rock, who will put you in your rightful place. Die, go back and retrieve your souls while thinking about your life choices, all the while Havel preps for round two. Run up to the boss area, walk towards a barrel with a crystal lizard, until you realize Havel the Rock followed you all the way up here. Oh my god, run away! Stop! Have to break! Stop! Advance to boss area. Go up here and kill these crossbow ghouls. If you go far enough down this path, the boss will eventually appear in all of its roid-induced rage. The Taurus Demon's fighting capabilities include, but are not limited to, Hey Better Better Swing, Come On and Slam, Hip Bone Hammer Shovel Shuffle, and I'm going to smash you into a fine bone dust. You can hug the demon's groin to avoid some of the swings and get some damage in. Just make sure it doesn't knock you off the edge. If you're positioned well enough, you can actually make the Taurus demon do its backwards leap off the edge, which is absolutely hilarious and may or may not have been what happened the first time I fought the Taurus demon. Don't have any evidence, you'll just have to take my word for it. Here comes the cheese! Go up this ladder from before, and try not to get hit, and you could plunge attack your way to victory like this. Don't take too long at the top of the ladder or the demon will jump up there and come after you. If you got the residence key from the hobo merchant, you can open this door and get gold pine resin, actual cheese to rub on your blade. And Taurus demon must be lactose intolerant because this magnifies the amount of damage you do to it. Or you can ignore all of this and spam spells from a distance, whatever. Overall, Taurus Demon's difficulty is, honestly, a bunch of bull. <laughs> and boom, you beat the Taurus Demon. Good luck fighting ten of them later. Final verdict? Cheese! Next time, Bing Bong Brothers on the Ringy Ding Dong Building. <laughs>